ok welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to download sentinel2 data from copernicus website if you like these types of video please like the video and also subscribe to my channel ok let's start in order to download sentinel2 data firstly we need to go to this website that I will provide its link in the caption of this video then uh, we need an account if you have already an account uh, you just need to put your email and also your password here then click on login if you do uh, if you do not have an account you need to register for the first time in order to register we need to click on register then fill the current form that you can see here by filling it with simple information regarding yourself for example first name you have to provide your name your last name the email address and also you can define a password for your account remember to include let's say several characters inside your password okay this is my password and also the country that you are from I put Italy and also type of user it's saying that I'm gonna I'm coming from an organization for example a research organization or thematic activity that you want to use these data in that for example I'm gonna use for land use classification you can choose from this list whatever you want and also for the last one purpose of use for me it's research and so you can choose other options that you can see here for example education or let's say business um, whatever you are interested then I have to accept these terms and conditions and also license for this website if I click on register uh well let's say have an account i will have an account since i have an account i'm gonna back to this one and put my email or password here and click on login okay as you can see it's successfully logged in in order to download sentinel2 data firstly i need to define a study area in order to do this okay I'm gonna use rectangle from here in order to design define my study area here okay then I will go to search the left part of the page from data source I click on sentinel2 if you want you can filter you whatever you want for example here we have satellite platform sentinel2a sentinel2b sentinel2c these are level a and b uh, they are atmospheric uh, the atmospheric correction where have been done on these data and the difference between them is that Sentinel-2 Level A was launched in 2015 and Sentinel-2 Level B was launched in 2017 and there is no specific difference between these two however there is a difference between let's say Sentinel-2 Level A and C and the difference is atmospheric correction that was down on this data uh, and it's not it has now let's say been down on sentinel 2 level c okay 
and also you can choose process it by ESA or cloud error and so the collection would be a collection one okay I'm gonna let's say choose sentinel to level C then the next step I have to define the date for example for me July would be a good time okay then click by clicking on search it's gonna take a little then you can see your data for example I'm gonna choose this one by clicking on that we can see its header file metadata and if I go to product information you can see the name size and further details regarding this product okay I'm gonna download this data by clicking on download it's gonna take a while to download this data okay in the meantime I can give you some information regarding Sentinel-2 data as I said before Copernicus website is considered as a main source of Sentinel data set in this website it belongs to Copernicus you can find further information regarding to Sentinel-2 data okay they have let's say four bands and 10 meter special resolution six at 20 meters and what else here we have their missions and also for the details regarding the levels that i explained it before And different applications that you can use them for different types of scopes that you are interested as I said before climate change land cover land use or whatever you are interested okay as you can see our download has been finished then I choose a, let's say a folder then save my data okay as you can see it's finished I want to open my collected data in a snap software in order to do this I'm gonna go to the folder that I saved my data then the drag download the data into my software okay it's gonna take a while or after several seconds it's gonna be opened okay if I go to bands for example band 2 with a special resolution of 10 meter okay as you can see this is band 2 and so the other bands that you can see here okay thank you very much for your attention I hope this video and also the contact of this video will be useful for you